All right, so Brad Dasher here on a Thursday, the, what is today, the 15th? Yeah, the 15th of July. Just got that uh, child uh, tax credit, uh, the $500 for our two kids came in. So um, right now, this month has been a pretty big struggle uh, financially, um, trying to get back on to some kind of track. Um, it's like, it's weird because like during the pandemic, during COVID-19, I didn't have to deal with being away for three or four days at a time in which I can't schedule myself to work the next week. And so I'm dealing with right now is trying to get back on track of being able to do gigs and then doing this stuff as well. Um, and financially trying to balance all that, um, but, you know, getting there, it, you always feel like you're a little bit behind no matter what you do. And as of right now, I'm, I'm, I'm behind it. It's, it's, it's taken its toll on me mentally uh, in a way, but, you know, pushing through, got to do it. The only thing I'm finding is that the area where I normally work, which is the area where I live, is it is so over saturated with dashers that... I mean, you can't get a word in edgewise with the with the company or whatever. It's not the company, but like to schedule. If if you're not there and you don't have early access, the chances of working in my area now is pretty pretty slim. And because of that, the the amount that we make is declining because there's so many people doing it that they're taken away from each other, and it's just it's it's that's on DoorDash, you know. Um, so I'm actually today I'm working in a different area. Um, it's not too far from home, but um, notoriously they pay less um, for longer distance orders and stuff in this area. So uh, we'll see what happens. I, I just know that I need to make money today. Um, still waiting on my check for my last gig. That's the other thing that with uh, getting back to the touring schedule. Um, our band's bank account isn't what it used to be and I'm having to suffer along and deal with it until things go back to normal and it really sucks trying to raise a family and stuff and dealing with that if I was a single dude I just live in my car and do this all the time it's not a big deal but I have a I have a wife and kids and stuff and but last night I went out and made a pretty good chunk of change made over $30 an hour um, it just in like a two hour period and um, I had my wife with me which is why I didn't do a video I won't put her face on here I won't put the kids faces on here um, but she was out with me and I was able to like leave the car running and stuff we were able to get things done pretty quickly didn't have any really big um, uh, anything drama filled um, like I did the night day before where like the lobby was closed. I mean, I did have the one lobby was closed and the kid was outside telling me that it's because they're short, short staffed, even though, you know, it's standing room only inside the restaurant, but whatever. Um, it's their prerogative. Like I said, I feel like there, a lot of these restaurants now have learned that they have the excuse to not to have to deal with people that they just lock the door and say they're short staffed, which, you know, people are still, still going there. Um, I think that's what COVID did for a lot of people is it proved that you can push people in ways you never thought you could and you can get away with it. And it's, it's really sad. I hope, I hope that there comes some positivity out of everything living, you know, living where I do right now, there is, there's a need for positivity, but it doesn't seem to be coming from anywhere. Um, so you have to make it for yourself and it really sucks because uh my personality type um it really uh takes its toll on me uh and stuff so you know using these times when i'm out doing doordash to hopefully make someone's day brighter and that's one of the things that no matter what restaurant i go to no matter who i deal with no matter how much of a pain in the ass they've been to me i always tell the person that i appreciate them and that's one thing I will say that you can take away from this video is no matter what, 
we have to appreciate each other for helping each other, whether we, we agree on anything at all. The fact that someone brought you something that you could take to someone and make money, you know, you need to appreciate them for that. Much as a pain in the ass as they might be, as long as they got it done, you know. Um, and I really wish restaurants would appreciate Dashers more for what they provide because it's for these companies that normally wouldn't do delivery. It helped them survive, but whatever. You know, I do my part. I try to be the positivity in the world. So, anyway, sorry about the hiccup there. Um, if you're watching this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the, the bell notification. Um, trying to build this channel. Uh, otherwise, it's just me talking to myself. Which has been a lot lately. But, either way, hope you guys have a good day. And we'll probably have an end of the night video. Um, going over everything that I went through today and a lot. So, I'm just getting started. All right.